Hello, and welcome to Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh's Kids Club at Home. My name is Megan. I'm happy you could join us today. For today's activity, we'll be sketching nature. I enjoy sketching because I can draw things that I find anywhere and learn more about them. This is a leaf I found outside. You might see a bird, a tree, a cloud, or something else that you want to draw. When kids draw, they're using the same fine motor skills needed for writing. It helps develop the control that's needed to write neatly. So before we start, let's do our icebreaker for today. If you could be any animal, what would you be and why? I think I would be an octopus because they have eight arms and that means they can do lots of things at once. What about you? You may have received supplies for today's activity in a grab and go kit available at select CLP locations your adult can call 412-622-3114 to learn more about these kits. If you don't have a kit, that's okay. You can do this activity with other supplies you might have, like writing paper, newspaper, chalk, or pens. What else do you have that might work? We're happy to have you, and we want to know what you would like to do next time. Please tell us in the comments. Today's activity explores observation of nature. Observing something means looking at it closely to learn more about it. What animal or plant would you like to learn more about? How do you think drawing it can help you do that? Pay close attention and see what you notice like color and shape. Why do you think it looks the way it does? Okay, it's time to sketch. I drew this leaf. I looked at it closely, but I drew it in my own style. I noticed that it has lines that branch out from the middle. You can get more ideas about drawing nature in 20 Ways to Draw a Tree and 44 Other Nifty Things from Nature by Eloise Renouf, which is available on Hoopla. Hoopla is a platform you can get to through our website. It offers ebooks, audiobooks, and more. If you don't have a library card already, that's okay. You can sign up for one at our website, carnegielibrary.org, or by stopping into one of our libraries with your parent or grown-up. If you have a question about this, just call 412-622-3114 and a librarian will be ready to help you. If you liked today's activity and you want to learn more, check out these other books on Hoopla. Ralph Masiello's Bug Drawing Book by Ralph Masiello, and Nature All Around Plants by Pamela Hickman. Reading books and doing hands-on activities helps us strengthen what we learn and put subjects into new context for kids. Learning about subjects like nature and art builds background knowledge and that helps with reading comprehension. Background knowledge is important because kids will be more familiar with terms and concepts when they encounter them while reading. Are you looking for more art activities or ways to learn about nature? Here are some ideas. Assemble offers free online after-school activities, including art, for school-age kids. Check them out at assemblepgh.org or on Instagram as assemblepgh. The library offers other resources to learn about drawing. Try Creative Bug. You can find it through our website under Research. It offers many lessons in all kinds of art activities, including videos just for kids. Want to learn more? Try National Geographic Kids Field Guide to Trees. You can find it at kids.nationalgeographic.com. Thank you again for hanging out for Kids Club at Home. Tag at Carnegie Library and share what you made today. And keep an eye out for grab and go supplies at your neighborhood CLP location. We miss you and we look forward to creating together next time. See you later.